is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We're going to take it by storm. Take it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. <laughs> hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy, I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 16, NASDAQ down 20, S&Ps off four. Bottom line, you get a sideways market, late volume. Gold contract, gold contract up $3.70, trading at 1293 an ounce. If we go over to that gold market, we take a look at gold for a Friday. Bottom line, gold didn't get smoked. And that's after the smoking that it did on Tuesday. Tuesday, got gold contract uh, broke lower, 1314 to 1288. We get down to 1285 out here today. It rejects lower price. You do have lighter volume. So uh, in the basis, uh, we'll see whether what kind of bounce we can get. If we put this on a continuous contract and we take a look at the continuous contract, this is really going to be important because when you lay this out on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that your trend line that is going from the lows to the highs, okay, this was the, this was the number. Uh, bottom line in a big way too. Uh, you know, we had busted the, well here, let me get the, put that up, do that one more time. There we go. Okay, so when we, t we take a look and we take a look at this trend line, what you're looking at is this. The, the trend line we're talking about is from the, from the lows of December of 2015, uh, 2016. Bottom line is that we had got down to those lows again on the 2017, and guess what? We just went into them, and we basically got underneath them. The trend, that trend, let me see, that actually line, yeah, we did. We got to 1285, 1284, actually. That the line is laid out at 1287.72. So the bottom line is that you did reject it. Uh, it's a dangerous line, folks. The reason that that's a dangerous trend line right there is the aspect that that line, that trend starts December of 2016. So bottom line, you get down to it and rejected it. If we go take a look at the GLD and see how that baby's set up, because you're going to be able to get the volume characteristic underneath the GLD also, and you're going to see that when we actually hit that, that we did hit it with light volume, and that's what it takes. The bottom line is that it takes two different things. Uh, you don't want to see a, uh, well, you'd love to see a, a market, if you're bullish the market, going up into a trend line like that with expanded volume. In this particular case, we had volume out here of uh, 31 million shares uh, versus the 37 million uh, versus the, the larger low out there at 52 million. So bottom line is that this week, it held. <laughs> we'll find out as we come into next week. That being said, where do we go next? Let's go right into bond market, because what the bond market did do is this. The bond market, uh, bottom line, also bounced out here today. Bond market, 10-year note right now is up 11 ticks. You did 1.4 million contracts. Now, bond market, in order to basically get in higher range, has a long, well, the 10-year has a long way to go. Uh, 119.15, that's, that's the number out here that would have to, to 119.14, rather, have to get back inside that. Right now, we are uh, 16 ticks away from that. 
10 years, though, they had, a, they had a good move out here today. 30 year, same type of setup inside the 30 year. 30 year also had a decent move, but still needs higher price in order to get back inside the range. Uh, 30 year inside the range is 141.14. Now, that's only five ticks away. You know, so it's going to get intriguing coming into the close out here if, in fact, they keep uh, pushing this higher. As I just started the program, uh, you just had some buyers come in and uh, with some good contract volume, particularly this late in the day. 5,100 contracts just came across the 30-year bond. That's a big number, um, especially coming into the weekend. So trade is out here. They're setting up uh, how they're going to go over this weekend. King dollar. What do we have for king dollar? So king dollar today gets up to 93 740. The high that it's been testing for three days now is December 12th, and that's 93,480. If we close over that coming into the close out here today, bottom line, 95 is going to be game in this king dollar. If you close underneath it, it's going to be a failure on price and volume. Because on the daily and on the weekly, right now you only got 18,000 contracts. If we take a look at this intraday and see what we got, let's bring this a little bit closer. Okay, so intraday, we came off the highs. And, you know, you had, some, you had some decent sell. And the big sell was out here. It was at 1030 this morning. Someone threw 1,000 uh, contracts uh, as it the, went from 93,650 to 93,570. That being said, it looks to me like this thing's going to hold. It's, it's basically flattening out um, throughout the day here. Some of the higher volume stocks in this low volume market out here today. What's going to be intriguing, of course, is that we have option expiration. So to put volume in at the close. You got uh, Advanced Micro is uh, up 21 cents. Applied Materials, that baby came out with numbers last night. That's down 377. Campbell Soup, that's their CEO, basically uh, gave it up today. That's down 459. We'll, we'll take a look at both of those equities. You have PayPal, they're buying another company in Europe, help, uh, helping them to compete. That's up $1.73. If we go over to Applied Materials first and take a look at Applied Materials, Applied Materials is going to be important for the whole uh, chip market, folks. Uh, so what Applied Materials has done is this. They hit a low today of 48.53. They've done 43 million shares. That's way too much volume as you're coming into the swing points. Now, we've been talking about this February 9th swing low since February 9th. <laughs> Bottom line, uh, and this is in all the equities. Uh, what we did out here today uh, is that, this is just wild how it works too. We got to $48.53. The high of the low is $48.50. That being said, now what you have is this. You have a test of that area with way too much volume. So this baby's not done going on the way down. If we take a look at this on a weekly basis, it's a mess. On a weekly basis, what you have, what's sticking out still like a sore thumb is $45.13. That's your low of the week of February 9th. That number is 96 million shares. Well, we're barreling into that number with 98 million. When you do that, bottom line, you're going to test it, number one. The real question is going to be, as we test it, is it going to have enough volume to blow it away? Or is there enough volume this week that it gets tired next week? You get the test, you get the rejection, and then it stays in the consolidation. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up six. NASDAQ's down 22. S&Ps are off five. We're coming right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special has just been announced. For one week only, we're doubling the bonuses that we normally give out with any Tiger Dollar purchase. Normally, when you purchase Tiger Dollars, you can receive a 10, 15, or 20% bonus with your purchase, but through Memorial Day only, we've doubled the bonuses to 20, 30, and even 40%. This is one of the best Tiger Dollar sales that we offer, and they only come around a couple times a year, so don't let it pass you by. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and they never expire. So whether you're already a subscriber and want to add savings to your monthly or yearly subscription, or you're thinking about signing up for anything in the future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. For all the details on the Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this deal ends May 28th.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. And if we uh, go up and we take a look at uh, Campbell's Soup, uh, Campbell's, folks, uh, bottom line is uh, uh, has some uh, slight problems here. The CEO uh, basically resigned this morning, and as that happened, this uh, stock blew apart. It's not like it's been uh, a great stock anyway. The stock has gone from $51, uh, blew apart today, goes down 440, has 26 million shares traded. Uh, you, we take a look at this on a longer-term basis. You're going to see this is a, uh, a one-way route on the way down uh, for the past, it uh, looks like three and a half years since, uh, yeah, no, past two years. So $67 with a high July of 2018. Uh, this, is a, this is a big number right now, though, folks. So you, your A point on this is 51 bucks. Your B is at uh, 40 bucks. so you get another $11. Uh, that gives you a $30 A to B equals C to D uh, level on a one-to-one -one basis. And we bring this back. Let's just see where $30 is laying out. Yeah, so $30 is laying out in uh, November of 08. Unreal. Let me put this back a little bit further. Yeah, that's where this baby's going. Let me just, I want to see what other products they have. So, man, if... Yeah, it doesn't actually say, but we know that uh, when you think about it, okay, let's see. So we know that you get soup, sausage, biscuits, confectionaries. Um, okay, so here we go. Okay, so the most popular soups, we know what they are. What chicken noodle, tomato, cream of mushroom. Um, just think about how many people actually are, are into buying the canned soups anymore. And it's there, but it, it certainly isn't there like it was 20 years ago. Um, oh, SpaghettiOs, sure, a lot of people are buying SpaghettiOs, right, give me a break. Canned pasta, oh, yeah, well, okay, Pepperidge, oh, they go on Pepperidge Farms. The bottom line is that they're in a lot of things that, uh, well, okay, so they got gourmet salsas. I can see them making some bread on that. They got organic baby food. Uh, I can see that happening, but uh, the canned soup business, forget it. Um... Okay, so simple meals and beverages generate 55% of their revenue. Swanson broth, yeah, we still need that for making gravies. Global biscuits, that's probably contracting.
Yeah, they, 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 they have trouble. They have trouble in paradise. When we take a look at the, uh, the amount of uh, fresh foods that are coming in the marketplace, they, when McDonald's is touting fresh meat at their uh, restaurants, folks, it says it all. That's the bottom line. Um, and so here's the numbers. They did $8.3 billion in 2014. They're doing $8.8 .8 billion this year. The United States... So their, their baking and snack food is 2.6 billion. Their simple meals is 4.3. Simple meals is that's the soup. And then fresh. So here you go. Fresh out of uh, four, five, six, seven. Out of eight billion dollars, they only do 967 million that they consider Campbell fresh. So that's that's the larger problem inside the, that market. And so let me just I want I'm curious as to what. I know there's a there's a family that had owned the majority stake in that forever. Let me just see if that is still there. We take a look at the Yeah, it looks it. So you get Yeah, it's the Dorrance family. That's 17%. So there's, there's the, the top owner is 17%. And then the second one happens to be 9%. I'm not sure. Other than that, then there's all funds. But trouble in paradise, no doubt about it. Uh, deer. Deer come out with uh, numbers. Uh, bottom line is that uh, they actually missed the number of this quarter, but they upped their yearly guidance. And so you had some wild trading inside Deer. Deer actually was down pre-market, folks. And what ends up happening, it opens at 146.50 and just takes off like a rocket ship. Right now it's at 155.07. And bottom line is that you get an ABC structure on the way up with a price projection of 161. Your A point is down here at the lows that were established on the, the 3rd of May, which is at uh, 137. Your B is 149. Your C is the low of Tuesday, uh, 143. Now, it's what Deer also has, has a high volume high at 175. That's on your daily. You put this on the weekly, and you're going to see, and this is where, you know, I was talking about the gold market, how the gold market had been coming down to its trend line from the bottom. And it basically saved itself. What you're going to see here in Deer is that you're going to see that this is a decisive break with conviction of the downtrend that has been on since February of 2018. You had wide price spread. You have accelerated volume. You have a confirmed ABC structure on the daily. And guess what? This baby's going up to 175. So that's going to be an interesting number. And inside the deer numbers, when you break down deer, this is what's going to be really intriguing. And it's going to be intriguing in the aspect of if you are in the futures market at all, is that when you look at this breakdown, the breakdown goes like this. You get agricultural equipment is 20 billion of the 33. Construction is 5.7. And then they do financial services. They basically lend money to buy their equipment at 2.9. The important one I would say to look at inside the future market, and we'll go over to the futures, is going to be that agricultural equipment. Because when we take a look at it, watch this, I'm going to go right to wheat. So today, wheat's up 4.7%, corn's up 1.8%. You've got uh, cotton up 1.7%. If we go into the wheat market, right now you're at 518 a bushel. Had wide price spread out here today. Had 95,000 contracts, which is good contract volume. And I'm going to put this on a continuous contract so you can see kind of how this is laying out. W1. Okay, so make sure, yeah, okay, so I got it on the continuous contract. We'll take this. I'm going to put this on a much longer basis. So wheat. What you have, folks, is this. Okay, wheat has been basing out since uh, September of 2014. We're coming into the summer, and bottom line, this is 
you know, when you take a look at the, the, the amount of the downturn, the downturn started in 2012. 2012, wheat was 947 a barrel, I mean a bushel. Goes all the way down into the lows of uh, September of 2016 at 362. Now you're at 518. The real question is going to be uh, what kind of summer are we going to have? Are you going to actually get uh, drought? Are these agricultural products going to be going topside uh, in the way that uh, a few of these are trading right now, particularly because they've been at the lows, uh, it, it actually looks like that's exactly what's going to be shaking out. And if that's what you get, you are going to see some firepower inside the agriculturals. If we take a look at the contract, contract, yeah, the con contract like that. So con's down from uh, 843 a bushel in 2012. Hit a low out here, 2016 to 301. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank. Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. One of the keys to success in anything is the ability to make new distinctions. So what new distinctions are you making to achieve even more success in your life? When it comes to trading and investing, I wanted to become the best of the best, which is why I went on to make new distinctions. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 and gold. On Wednesday, May 23rd at 5 p.m., I'm going to share with subscribers one of my newest distinctions, which is how to follow the money and do so in multiple currencies. You see, money has to flow somewhere, and with the world getting smaller and smaller each day, you and I can identify exactly where most of the money in the world is flowing. Sign up for Mastering Probability by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com to begin your 30-day money-back guarantee trial membership and learn the exact tools that I use to time the markets. And if you can't attend live, don't worry, because the workshop will be archived on your members' page for the next 30 days. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So uh, we, we, we're starting with Deer. Deer come out with good numbers. Deer's doing an ABC up. Uh, most of their business in the agricultural. Uh, so if we look at con, uh, bottom line, wheat wants higher price. You look at con, same type of setup, folks. So it's going to be intriguing watching how the summer is going to lay out. Con right now is at uh, 402 a bushel and looks like a 439 uh, is game out here. Now let's go take a look at the lumber market. We had uh, a little question about lumber. So this one's intriguing. Now the lumber market, this has been a one-way trade, folks. 
You know, lumber has gone up dramatically. And when we're, when we're talking about uh, the lumber that trades inside the futures market, what we're talking about is the aspect of... One second. Okay, so... Um, each contract is 110,000 board feet. Bottom line, this is the softwood that's used to basically for rehabbing construction. Uh, now, this comes out of Canada, folks, okay? And it is, uh, well, here, first off, lumber has gone from March, uh, just March, uh, at 463 uh, bucks uh, to uh, bottom line 624 today. You know, so the, the, what the question is, well, actually, if we bring this back six months, if you want to see it, it's on, well, that's not quite a double. $3.80, um, it was 110,000 uh, board feet. Now we're up to 624. Uh, what it did do today is that it went from 648, pulled back, closed out at 624. Now, that being said, I don't think this is topped out, and, and this is why. This is pretty sick, too, by the way. Well, it, and this, uh, this also, folks, just has to do with the tasks that basically are happening inside the marketplace, inside NAFTA and the whole ball of wax. That's what's also going on with this deal because Canada is one of our biggest trading partners and what you don't hear about, you keep hearing about Mexico on a continual basis, but Canada is our largest trading partner. So this is going to be a big number. Now the reason I'm saying that this is not done uh, is your first get-go this morning is a high volume high. Now this looks to me like it's an illiquid contract also. I've never traded lumber, but when, when I see that, it's like, guess what? That, that high of today can get tested again. So we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, it only did 938 contracts. The, uh, so it's $1,700. Uh, and each point is worth uh, 110 bucks. So bottom line, we'll see where, the, we'll see where that goes. But, um, you know, lumber, almost doubling in price is pretty intense. Let's go over to the gold market. We'll take a look at the GDX. The GDX uh, out here also uh, basically performed out here today. You got to a price point of 2203. We closed at, oh, well, let's see. No, we're, yeah, we're, not, we're at 2224 right now. Uh, what you did do is this, is that you got into the swing low from May 1st. That swing low, 2204, had, 20, had 31 million shares. We've only done 15.5. That's a nice setup. That's on your daily. We put this on the weekly, and what you're going to see on your weekly, it's even a better setup because on the weekly, you didn't get down into the lower swing points. XAU, HUI, they're going to be set up the same way. Uh, inside the XAU, the HUI, uh, XAU, hit a low today of 81.84. You're at 82.30. Nice setup, real nice setup, actually. Can compare. It's a real nice setup when you take a look at the aspect of where the actual gold contract is. Uh, you know, we basically, uh, you got under the low of last week, 8101, oh, this is amazing, you actually didn't. So check this out, this is crazy. 8108 was the low of last week. This week, 8109, <laughs> that's, that's not bad. Um, so, Bottom line, that wants higher price. You go into the uh, X, the HUI. We take a look at the HUI out here. HUI got down to 177.47. Did reject price. That looks like it. Yeah, that didn't break any swing lows either. Nice. We take a look at this. Same setup. It's a good setup. In fact, this is going to be actually. This is wow. This is actually a better setup. Because it looks to me like, yeah, you came into strength. You came into the strength from the week of the 13th of April. That's when we went from 174 to 184. You had 128 million shares, and we're coming into that's a good setup. We're coming into that with uh, about 70 million. So you rejected the lower price with like 70 million versus 128 million. Good setup. Let's go take a look at uh, JUNK for one of the Tigers. No, J U J. All right. Oh, J Nug. Okay. Uh, we take a look at J Nug. This is going to look good, um, just because when I just went through the 
the GDX. So this is the Direction Junior three times bull position inside the junior market. Uh, this is trading at $14.34. And what you have out here, yeah, this also rejected lower price. And, you know, you're getting some juice inside it. Uh, we hit a low of 13.79. You're at 14.34. And when we put this on a weekly basis, that is set up the same way also, is that you, you're coming into uh, 86 million, you only did 42. This one's higher price. And let's go take a look. So JD, GDX, I can do this a different way. JD, J, GDX, no, GDXJ, GDXJ, that's what I want to do. So that, that's what this trades off. This trades off the GDDA. Okay, so this is what the JNUG trades off of, which is the GDXJ. What that did today gets to 3258, rejects. Oh, look at this. This is awesome, man. It rejects. This is amazing, actually. So when, when the gold market got smoked on Tuesday, we came down with 5.3 million shares. We came into that level today with 3.9, rejected lower price, goes topside. Then we take a look at the weekly, and the weekly is the same setup, man. These, these things are going higher. On the weekly, you're coming into uh, 51 million. You're going to do, right now, we've only done 33 million. So bottom line, they want higher. And if we do, thanks, Peter, if we do take a look at the financials, the financials, folks, bottom line, is still saying that either the yield curve is going to flatten out and they're not going to make enough money, uh, or there's something else that's laying out there. And we can start right with Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway um, is basically building cars to get downtown. You know, it's only down $1.29 right now, but Berkshire cannot handle the February and March downdraft. Right now, you're at 196. It's off the high of 217. We take this and we put this on a weekly, and you're going to see bottom line sticking out like a sore thumb is this 189. And it's going to go after it. The real question is going to be why. Uh, we go to Goldman. We know that the first major failure in the marketplace was Goldman. Uh, Goldman came back inside its lower range, and we take a look at that. What you're going to see, this is a long time coming. The, the lower range that we're talking about is that it had, it had broken out about a year and a half ago. It broke out with dramatically lighter volume, and then it came back inside the range. And that is serious business, folks, because if it, you know, if it had broken out with volume, it comes back inside the range, not the end of the world. When you break topside, and we break topside with uh, 65 million versus 227, and then you give it up, bottom line, and the bottom of the range is wide open. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And uh, so if we take a look at Goldman, what you're going to see with Goldman is this. You know, Goldman had a high in 2007, 250 bucks. That high had uh, 227 million shares traded. Uh, bottom line, then crashes like the rest of the market from $250 down to a low of $47 in 2008, November of 2008. Uh, takes uh, basically 10 years to get back, um, nine years. Yeah, nine years to get back. We get up to 255, we break topside. Uh, and what it did last month is that it broke below it. Uh, and now watch, the, the thing that's intriguing when you break topside or downtown is this. When it broke back inside the range, you had an expansion of volume. So right now, that sets up. It doesn't, you know, bottom line, it doesn't have to get to the lows of 2008. What should give it some support is actually the high of September of 2008. That's $172. So it's going to be intriguing watching this shake out. And what you do have, that's right, is that uh, Goldman, I mean, uh, bottom line, Goldman, uh, Lloyd Blank find uh, looks like uh, in December, um, he is going to be basically... Uh, given up the CEO position. They've already, uh, that first came out uh, about six months ago, but I expect that that's exactly what we're going to see. The real question is, uh, because of the way that the rest of these financials are, I don't think it's just because Lloyd Blankfein is leaving, you know. We'll see uh, what's, what's out there. Folks, as you come over to our website, uh, either today or this weekend, we just started our Tiger Dollar Sale. We have a couple of these a year. We used to have more than that, but right now we not only big, so have a couple a year. Uh, what the Tiger Dollar Sale is, is this. This is a Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Sale. Uh, there's an extra bonus that's associated with that. Uh, if, any, if you get any product at TFNN, any newsletters, any services at TFNN, it's a great way to save money. This, this sale goes, it started last night. It goes until the 28th, which is Memorial Day. And the way this works is that the bonuses are, are substantial. If you spend $500 in Tiger Dollars, you get $600, a 20% bonus. If you spend $1,000, you get $1,300, a 30% bonus. And if you buy $1,500, you get $2,100, a 40% bonus. Uh, Tiger Dollars have no expiration date. They're totally transferable, and they're good at all products at TFNN. So it's a way that we do discount the products when we, when we have sales. Take advantage of it. If you have a any products at TFNN right now, you're thinking of having any in the future, uh, that is right on the front page of TFNN. Uh, let's go up to uh, Canada. So up in Canada, what we have moving out here today, it's going to get interesting. Uh, we're coming into the summer, and uh, the way that Canada is operating, we don't know when it's going to be recreationally legal in Canada, meaning marijuana, but bottom line is that at, uh, the July date that they had basically set and it's not in stone, it seems to be getting closer. And the marijuana stocks are moving out here today, big time too. You had canopy, so canopy growth is one of the largest out here, uh, and the aspect of the amount of gross revenue they take in. You know, canopy in 2000, 
and 17 took in 39 million, 2018, 79 million. Now what they're expecting next year when it's legalized, uh, recreational, 314 million. It's, it's a monster number out here. Uh, and what you do have is they, they start moving again out here and they have some juice behind them. You know, they, they, they popped on Monday. Monday, uh, bottom line, they went from, uh, this canopy went from 31 to 33. You're at 35.80 uh, right now. You're doing 8.9 million shares. It, ha it has the juice behind the move. Uh, we put this on a weekly basis, and what you're going to see on a weekly is that the weekly basis, it is basically getting over these highs, and the juice is not bad. We, uh, the swing high had 27 million shares. You're breaking that with 35. So we'll see, we'll see where this shakes out. The, what you do have is that this has a high volume high at 44 bucks. And yeah, big retracement. I was uh, looking for it to get down a little bit lower. Uh, I got to a price point of 27. I was really looking for 23. Bottom line, though, this is taken off. Let's go take a look at a few others. RV. So Aurora is going to take a. Aurora is buying a, ACB. Let me pull this one up. ACB. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a, this is up this is up too, but not as much. So this is not as strong. Let me, let me go. so Aurora is up 61 cents, trading 781. It's not the same setup. Let me go. I want to go back to Canopy and see if there's any news on Canopy here because Canopy really caught a bid here. Canopy. No. There's really, there's really nothing out here, but they're, they're definitely buying that much more than uh, Aurora. Let me, let me pull up another one here. So we got, yeah, that's the strongest one out there. It would make sense, though, also, because what you do have with Canopy is that they refuse they, they they have no presence in the united states at all they're really smart because of that because what what has happened uh is the way that they operate uh, is that they are not going to take the risk of uh coming into any jurisdictions where basically you know it's not legal which is re which is re really smart and they're in the medical marijuana business by the way too uh bottom line is that uh but guess what there's, there's a whole world out there folks and they're kind of smart doing that um, yeah, if we go, stay with that banking business for a second. Now, this Deutsche Bank's been on its deathbed for a long time, folks. Um, Deutsche Bank right now trading at a uh, 12-month low, $12.69. And we take a look at this. We pull this back. It's pretty amazing how long it takes a, an equity to basically get toasted. Deutsche Bank was $125 in 2007. Uh, makes a low 2009 of $16. Now it does an amazing counter trend bounce. The counter trend bounce goes up to 66 bucks for something that's broke. And right now you're making your way back to the lows of $9.98. And I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. Yeah, it's a high volume low. So I suspect, number one, you're going to get to $9.98. You're at $12.70. I don't think they're going out of business. Um, why? Because if we learned anything, folks, um, you know, what the question was, is Deutsche Bank the next Lehman Brothers? They, the banking structure will not let a Lehman Brothers happen again. Won't, won't happen. It was a crucial mistake. Um, it blew apart all the markets simultaneously because the domino effect on it was extensive. And what has happened since we've been coming back, they, the domino effect is out there once again. And if I've learned anything, in markets in general, and this is not this. You, you can learn this, folks. Not even being in the, in the trading market, is that these cycles, these greed cycles, go over and over and over again. That's all. It's like crazy, um, and it never changes. It just it hasn't changed in my lifetime. I remember the first um, cycle that I saw bust apart was like '74. The second cycle, and I was just really learning what was going on at that point. The second cycle, it was, it's always the same deal, too. It's always the same that banks get tight, then things start going good, then banks loosen up, and then all of a sudden banks will give you anything. It blows up. Then it starts all over again. 
And just think about this. When you think about the aspect that how we thought we'd never have subprime loans again, they're all over the place. You know, now it's not as extensive as it was in 2008, but guess what? Just give it a few more years. It's going to be there. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with the last 10 minutes of trading for the week. Dow up nine, NASDAQ down 24, S&P's off five. Don't forget about the target all as you want a nice savings, folks. Check it out in the front page of TFNN.com. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We have uh, Dow uh, up 10, NASDAQ down uh, 24, S&Ps off 5. Bottom line is that uh, the sideways market summer trading has started, folks. And what's going to get really intriguing here is just to see what type of volume they actually uh, do put uh, into the close. you got option expiration. There'll be some volume in here. Uh, in the ETF structures, there's no volume. In the uh, NYSE right now, let's see what we've done thus far. you got... 534 million in the NYSE. They, they, they should pop that up to about 850. We'll, we'll, uh, on the update, I'll have that number. Uh, 1.6 billion right now in the NASDAQ composite. So uh, in both cases, that's light volume extraordinaire. If we go into the queues, we take a look at the queues. Uh, queues out here, bottom line, uh, 22 million shares, no big deal there. Uh, Google, folks, is going to have a, a critical uh, story, 60 minutes. Uh, Sunday night, I, that's going to be uh, all about, uh, you get, you get uh, all about basically 
the power that Google has uh, in search. That's where that's going to shake out. That being said, you know, Google's in a consolidation. I mean, yeah, it wants to get on in 992, but that uh, news out here really didn't uh, whack the, uh, Google out here today. It's, you're down 11 bucks, only a million shares. A million shares was coming into the strength with 2 million. So Google uh, just doesn't want to get down into the bottom is consolidation yet, just yet. And, and Google is one of the equities that have already tra traded to its February 9th swing low. Now, when it did it, it still did it with too much volume. We did 3.3 million versus 3.5. So that is saying that Google will be back down into those lower levels. Coming into next week, beginning of summer, bottom line is that you're going to see the market clear out next Friday. We get a long weekend on uh, Labor Day. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, you'll get some action. Gold, we got some, we got some relief in the gold market out here. Rejected lower price, went uh, higher slightly. Uh, King dollar, King dollar is over the 93, 480 mark. That's saying the King dollar can go to 95. Gold equity, silver equities, they hung tough. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking to right back here, 8 o'clock, Monday morning. Wow! Look at them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.